The whole Flame Chompers Lulu part of our deck has been pretty awesome. And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Lulu Jinx. That's going to be our next deck. Another cool little combination of champions that you don't see too often. Our next viewer submitted donation deck. We got a few new cards to try, including one I haven't played before yet. Boom Baboon. That is just a fun name to say. So, two, so Boom Baboon is a two mana three one when I'm summoned to create a Flame Chompas in hand. We're going to be a, a Flame Chompers deck. That's kind of like the, the thing about our deck is Flame Chompers is going to be very important. We're not only having our regular three Flame Chompers, but the Boom Baboons making the Flame Chompers. And the reason why Flame Chompers are going to be so good for us is because usually they're just a 0-2 challenger. Not so great. But we're going to have our three suit ups that can make those 4-4s. Four because once you have like a 4-4 four four challenger, that's like almost Screeching Dragon, if you think about it. Without the Fury, that's really good. So the suit-ups will make them 4-4s, four but then our champion, right? Like, that's why we got Lulu in here. Our champion Lulu is going to also be able to make them 4-4s. Four and so we, we have a lot of ways with both suit-up and Lulu to make those Flame Chompers 4-4 four, four challengers. 4-4 four, four challengers, of course, very good. We also have Young Witch, that if we make a, like if we suit-up make a 4-4 four, four challenger, Young Witch can give it plus 1, plus 0 quick attack. Now we got a 5-4 a quick attack challenger. That's like Silverwing Vanguard with Quick Attack. So yeah, Flame Chomper is going to be a big part of this deck. So we also got Pix. Pix will be able to buff up the Flame Chompers to turn them into like Laurent Protégé, basically. You know, turns it into a 2-3. So that's our thing. Like we're supporting our Flame Chompers. All right, besides that, we have other, you know, we got the discard package, like Urchin, Poro Cannon. So we want to discard the Flame Chompers. We don't want to be able, you don't, we don't really want to cast them. We want to discard them. So we got some ways to discard them and uh, other discard cards that get excited. With us discarding these cards, getting a lot of cards out of our hand early, that's where Jinx comes into play. Hopefully we empty our hand pretty fast. Jinx level up. You know, Jinx makes these super mega death rockets, doing a whole bunch of damage to our opponent. You know, get excited, doing a bunch of damage to the opponent. Finish them out like that. Also got new twin disciplines. This is gonna be great either way, the plus three, plus zero, or the plus zero, plus three. The second one can help protect our champions, but then the first one, we can you know give the Flame Chompers plus three, plus zero, and have them challenge up or anything like that. So, all right, let's get to it. Let's try it out. Lulu Jinx, we'll go play our five games in ranked. Oh man, why is everybody playing this deck now? Why do people figure out this deck's unbeatable? Oh, we're gonna have to start playing a whole bunch of landmark removal, and I don't like it. <laughs> but I guess that's what we're gonna have to start doing. All right, um, right here, so we can have round one Poro Cannon, round two Young Witch, round three Lulu. Like round one Daring Poro, is that good enough? I'll just send the Poro Cannons back. Looks like we get a fix. At least Ice Shard isn't killing all of my cards right now. So that's good. Hmm. Can't even attack. Alright, perfect start for the opponent. They're only one drop, they're only two drop. Oh, I guess, yeah, I guess I could have just attacked for one with the Young Witch. <laughs> That's true. Because I missed out on one point of damage. Oh, okay, so I have to discard a Twin Disciplines. Okay. So we'll have you support... Let's see, wait, wait. No, you support you who supports you who supports you. Yeah. All right, that was a great. That was like the perfect draw there. That flame chompers. Okay, so I guess I could have had them at nine instead of ten. We'll see if that ends up costing us. 
God, it's just gonna kill all my stuff. Everything but Lulu. Or maybe we just we just go wide. We can just you know we can discard the help picks. And go wine. I still keep this twin disciplines in case of another avalanche. I want to save Lulu. Alright, so they're at five. We are very close to killing them. But it's not going to be easy finishing the job. I guess this kind of had to be my last card, didn't it? No, okay. Okay, who's getting the barrier? Um, I guess Lulu's getting the barrier? Two Jinx. Nah, I should've done Lulu. I'll just do this. Maybe I should just be blocking. Like, I could just block, like, with a 1-1 one, one and then have, like, the Jinx block over here. This deck just doesn't... doesn't die. That's a good draw. That jury rig was a good draw. Yeah, there's there's a lot of different lines that could have gone here. I don't know if this is gonna be the best. I guess maybe I should just had the yeah. There's there's a lot of different lines that could have gone here. I don't know if this is gonna be the best. Like this will work out if I don't know if things work out. Oh wait, I don't get the super mega death rocket. Oh wait, no. What am I doing? Oh, never mind. This is not gonna work out at all. I don't know why I I I was. Yeah, I thought I was getting a Super Mega Death Rocket. Okay, well this, I should have, yeah, that, that didn't work out at all. Yeah, they're just doing this, they're just gonna open attack. 
Okay, well. Okay, well, yeah. That don't work for a lot of reasons. Keep your eyes on the horizon and your feet on the ground. My journey won't end until I'm through weaving. Okay, so I should have just pulled. I think I, I think probably the best line for me to do right there was probably just to pull the maybe pull the frozen thrall to like the the Lulu and let the Lulu die and have the Lulu be challenging the frozen thrall that was about to die. Um, you yeah, know, like this is obviously like nexus damage anyway. Wow, Tony, you're really good. Okay, I'm. All right, zillion echo. Okay, so we'll see if I can do a little better here. Some mistakes. I guess it's the suit up. I don't want to discard the portal cannon because then I wouldn't have the portal cannon to discard the flame chompers. My past I don't want to. I don't want to discard any of these. I, I just don't. Yeah, I don't want to discard any of these. Well, now, now we could have discarded the Poro Cannon. Man. That's not good. I can Poro Cannon, discard Flame Chompers, and then suit it up, be able to kill Zillion. But then again, I don't know if like killing Zillion is that valuable. And this game's really hard. Like I have no idea what to do right here. I have no idea, especially into this Hexite Crystal. That's the thing. I don't really want to play Lulu into the Hexite Crystal, but I don't know. I guess. All right. I guess we'll. I guess we'll go Lulu into the Hexite Crystal. So that's that's the other the other option for because that was the thing I just didn't really want to play that into, into the crystal, but no rush. this is our other option of like getting this into turn into the four four. And so, so they don't have mana for the crystal right now, so we'll be able to have either twin disciplines or pseudo protect this Lulu. I don't know. Attacking with the 3-1... I mean, they block with Zillion. I guess the 3-1's gonna die anyway. But they like their Zillion dying, I think. Turn it like so. Wow. Okay, we got we got value from it right there. I wasn't expecting that value from it right there. What if I should just cast Suit Up right now on Lulu? Just to use mana? No, definitely not Urchin first, because if I Urchin, they, I want to do the Urchin after the Crystal. This deck is built to defeat the small unit decks. Hexite Crystal is an amazing card. Wait, really? Oh man, I guess that is. Yeah, is that bugged? Like that? Isn't this thing supposed to still be a four-two?
Okay, chat saying it's not a visual bug. That's what it's going to be. Because the suit up only says grow. So yeah, I, I guess I, I messed that up then, obviously, with that suit up. Because the suit up just says grow to a 4-4. Four, four. So um, it was a, it was a 4-3 whenever I cast it. So it doesn't, it doesn't like, reset it. So the suit up just gave it the plus zero, plus one. That's really too bad that I just wasted. Man, I am stressing out <laughs> with this. I wasted that suit up. I think our deck's been doing some really cool stuff, but I, I don't know. It looks like I'm about to be 0-2. my opponent have Hexite Crystal. That card makes everything so difficult. I guess we're on to. Great hand. I guess I'm just mulliganing everything, but we'll keep one Boom Baboon. I could see keeping both Boom Baboons, I guess. Uh, yeah, maybe we'll just keep both, because they, you know, they do create cards for us. We have to kill this thing, otherwise, like if they just keep healing it and challenging and everything like that, it's it's gonna be pretty rough for us. So we'll take we'll take the loss of cards there. Um that happens, but it's okay to have less cards when you got jinx. I don't jinx fate. These things we can we can handle, right? They haven't gotten any of their best three cards yet. Caring for the stars shows the Which that is one of them. I can't wait to see them when they're all grown up. Leave me no choice. Take heart. Okay, so there's a suit up. Okay, we definitely have to kill that thing. Let's 
think that's the plan. Let's just try to kill that thing. I could go, like, pick support the other Flame Chompers and, like, try to go for the Star Shepherd, but it... Which maybe I should just be doing... This is a, I don't know, this is like a really stressful deck to play. This is a very difficult deck to play. I just feel like I'm really underperforming with the deck. And that's stressing me out. <laughs> I don't like underperforming with decks, but I feel like I am here. Yeah, we have been playing. That's that's a very good point. We have been playing against some very frustrating decks, right? Like Soraka Tom is a is a deck that, when you're playing small units, can be very frustrating. The Zillion uh, Echo, again, playing small units and how they had that good of a hand, very frustrating. We are playing against some very frustrating opponents. The sump rock got me good. No more of your crap, Sue please. Is that soap? You been drinking this? <laughs> I'm considering playing Young Witch over an Urchin. Maybe it's just playing Jinx. Can't have the Star Shepherd kill Lulu, but I guess that's life. I would, I would certainly be willing to trade all this. Yeah, so Soraka is the card that, you know, with that card advantage. That's the card I really wanted to get rid of. Hmm. Alright, so my plan is. Oh no, never mind. Never mind. I guess. I don't know. I guess we have to do this. Yeah, I mean, because I gotta play Augmented Experimenter the next round. That's the best draw that we could possibly have. So any kind of healing card, if they're just relying on Astral Protection, Guiding Touch, or I guess Astral Protection still works, but Guiding Touch. Okay, maybe they don't have another heal card in hand. Maybe. They only have two cards. Come on, let it happen. Let it happen. Get, let me get my Jinx back. No. No, so close. Take heart. Uh, so close. Be at peace. Live with purpose. I was planning on just open it, open challenging the Tom Kench, um, but I guess it's worth doing this. I feel good about winning this game. 
I don't think that they're going to have nearly as good of hand as our first opponent did with this deck. So I feel good about winning this game. This is because then. Are we just going to go for leveling up Jinx real fast? My opponent had all three Astral Protections, right? Like the last one. Oh, come on. Seen a lot of round one fallen felines. The last game yesterday we played against this deck, they had round one fallen feline, round two, uh, predict, draw, hexite crystal. First game they did it this time. Alright, this time they just get the drop order. As we've talked about, drop order is a very poor card in this deck, but I guess if you're gonna be playing against Lulu Jinx, then drop order is good. Drop order helps out your good matchups and is a useless card in the bad matchups when you're playing Zillion Echo. But it makes your, it makes your good matchups better, so if you're just trying to uh, really perform well in your good matchups, then it can be a good a good plan for that. Right, and so that's that's why you play drop orders for aggro, but the, the whole reason to play the deck is for aggro already. But if you really want to have like a, a really high win rate in the good matchups and a really low low win rate in your bad yeah. matchups, I, I mean, sure, you know. which is a really fair uh, it's a very very fair strategy to you know pick your battles, and so if that's the plan, it's a it's a good plan. Yeah, Pix hasn't been looking too good. Pix at O2 is just pretty rough. I could try to save Pix. But to what end? Pix at O2 has been pretty rough. And the... the I don't know about all these daring poros either. New tech, new tricks, new day, new song. I guess I should discard the one from Boom Baboon that they knew about. They still know about this flame chompers in hand. That was that was a mistake by me. I should have discarded this one. Just they have a little less information. Yeah, I guess there's we do have like the different ways to buff up for the poros. The poros make sense. I'm back. It's so good to see you again. My dear friend, you weren't gone long, but I worried every second. Rules are made to be broken. Like this for people. So it has fearsome, I can't just block with the one one. I want to get the O2 in play, I guess. Is it important that I level up Jinx right now first? If I, Because if I level up Jinx, we get rid of the Flame Chompers, and I don't want to get rid of the Flame Chompers. <laughs> Will we get rid of the Flame Chompers? Or maybe we won't, because these things are dying. You always say, no, it's not important to level up Jinx right now. It would be, you know, like for future Jinxes to be leveled up immediately. Everyone goes 
All right, we'll keep the jury rig in hand. Perfect. Oh, no. That's not good, because both Time Bombs and Hexite Crystal are unbeatable. So at least no Hexite Crystal. That's good. Time is winding. Like a watch. Let's go, Keeper. No time to waste. Remember, time spent planning is never wasted. Boo. I was certainly planning on that to kill Kihiri. I see someone's been practicing their adorable spells. Just like you showed me, Lulu. Really? What's going on here? Okay. Oh no, that does three damage to the or four damage, yeah, because that gets plus three plus three because the quick attack. That card is perfect against quick attack, because quick attack happens first, it dies, then it comes back and then kills it. We are not getting very lucky here. We could just draw like an echo that I want to get excited. The echo. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Any interaction from them, I'm dead. Predicts are so fast. Whatever they're finding. Okay, well, they found another one. I was like, they're choosing it so fast. That would be interaction. I needed, I needed like, all all five of that damage, plus the three from the Twin Disciplines, plus the three from the Get Excited, right? Like, that's how I was going to be able to do 11 damage. And so we have to play against this deck three times, but this is this is exactly what the deck's built to do, is beat small units, especially when they're playing the 1-3. The so, you know, GG's, weird. Lissandra Talia, same kind of thing. With all the avalanches, ice shards, and frostbites, like... And then Soraka Tom Kench, great at blocking and beating small units. So we're, we're facing three decks, you know, we've played five games, three decks that are just wonderful. In this matchup... Man, I am... frustrated about how life's going right now. <laughs> Hey, my droid. So it looks like a pretty tough metagame for this deck, at least just the the matchups that we're facing. If everybody's playing to this, I, you know, like we, I'd much rather be facing, you know, like lurkers, or just decks that don't interact as much. Not decks filled with, uh, you know, all the removal that, that these decks have had. I'm very glad no cat. 
Didn't have the cat. Um, the feline right away on round one. Very glad about that. Hey, my joy coming on over from YouTube. Welcome, welcome, welcome. What do you make of that? I'm not sure. Well, this isn't the place. Why is it me? Borokanon was the card that I was really hoping we drew right there for this for this interaction. So that was the that was the perfect card to draw. Yeah, Zillion Echo with a Sivir. This time, so <clears throat> yeah, we've gotten <laughs> five bad matchups, five decks that love playing against small units. This Lulu's vulnerable, I'm just gonna let it die. I could like go for the whimsy and stuff, but I'm just gonna let this Lulu die and play new Lulu. That's not vulnerable. Yeah, Sivir is a yeah, Sivir is a very good card, and so yeah, playing Sivir in this deck can definitely do that. Sivir does a lot. The whole Flame Chompers Lulu part of our deck has been pretty awesome, as far as parts of the deck goes. Flame Chompers has been really good. Interesting reaction. I'll make a note. <laughs> Stop trying to kill my Lulu. More jinx the merrier. I think we got this one. That's new. You're provoking it. Could have these just go upstairs, but I think we're gonna just take out the three threes. Uh, if I just go upstairs, like that puts them down to four. Alright, cool. Kava says take out the three threes. I, that's what I kind of like doing. Just makes, you know, makes like our, our challenge with Flame Chompers a lot better. Then I won't give the, the Flame Chompers plus four, plus four. We can give, you know, like this Daring Poro plus four, plus four for the Young Witch or something like that so that we just have like spread out our damage capabilities. We can just have an O2 challenge of one three. That's perfectly fine. We got three five five damage attackers. And they're at ten. 
And there we go. Got a win. All right, finished up strong. With Lulu Jinx. Finished up strong. Okay, so I, I made some mistakes there with the earlier games. Uh, it was kind of a, a difficult deck to sequence and just kind of pick up and play. Um, but I think that there was definitely some good stuff. Both champions performed very, very well whenever we had Lulu or Jinx. Both of them looked great. Um, I really like the twin disciplines to be, be able to protect Lulu. Kind of one of mine, maybe another one of those. But obviously the Flame Chompers and the Boom ba Baboon were both also awesome. Like the Flame Chompers really performed well. Uh, especially with Lulu suit up. So yeah, I love like the suit up, suit up, Jinx, Lulu, get excited, twin disciplines. Um, I guess you have to play Young Witch, I guess. Um, maybe not, I don't know. But uh, anyway, but the cards I loved though were the, sorry, the suit up, the Jinx, the Lulu, the get excited, the twin disciplines, Rummage, Flame Chompers, Boom Baboon, um, Urchin, Poro Cannon. Those cards all all perform very well. Very skeptical about jury rig. I don't know. Jury rigs, okay. Picks. Picks on did not look so good. Um, Young Witch didn't look that great. Augmented Experimenter is a little slow. But, you know, could be necessary. But, you know, maybe we can uh, find some other things to be doing with, with like, the rest of the slots. Like, I, um, I'm not exactly sure of what, but, like, Mystic Shot. Um, I don't know. Maybe even Iterative Improvement. I could see this being a, a good iterative improvement deck. Actually, iterative improvement's pretty interesting. You can like iterative improvement your flame chompers and then discard it and still put it, you know, put it into play as a one three. I don't know. I guess I could maybe see some iterative improvement, Mystic Shot. Um, I don't know. Uh, but uh, yeah, maybe some syncopation. Other maybe just like more kind of tricks like that to kind of help out your your like Lulus that attack that are attacking all the time. Um, and everything. There's always Retreat Return, Green Glade Elder. There's, I don't know, there's a lot of cards that we could, you know, you could try out in a deck like this, you know, because um, that, that is an option going like Homecoming, Retreat Return, and uh, Dancing Droplet, you know, Droplet being another uh, elusive that you can be supporting, and uh, Retreat Return always does like some good, some good stuff, and I could see doing that and homecoming doing some work. So there's there's some different things to think about, but I think that both champions did perform very well and they perform well together and they performed really well with the flame chompers. And so trying to figure out like the kind of the the rest of the deck, the rest of the 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 deck could be what we would need to be doing. Um but yeah, homecoming is just very good in this metagame, especially with like the different landmarks and everything people play in these days. But of course, the the rest of that package, maybe like the whole Retreat Return Homecoming drop, Droplet package isn't amazing for Jinx, but because it, it does keep more cards in your hand. Things to think about, though. All right, that's going to be it for Lulu Jinx. We did perf we did face kind of five tough matchups, decks that all five decks, if you had to say like what, like each one of our opposing decks, if you had to say what are they good against, you'd have to say decks with small units. And so, therefore, we did have all pretty tough matchups. And we, we had very close games, though, even with that being the case. And maybe if I was a little more experienced with the deck or made some, some different decisions, took some different lines, maybe that 1-4 could have been a 2-3 or a 3-2. Um, so, you know, we were right there, even with decks that are kind of designed to defeat this one. So I think that, that's a good sign. All right, but that's going to be it here for Lulu Jinx. So those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button. And of course, feel free to leave those comments as well. I always like seeing those. But thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.